Now this is going to be fun. What is up guys? I'm Wanted Turtle and we have a very big opening. Pikachu can't believe it either. We're going to be doing our biggest Hidden Fates opening yet. We're going to open one of every kind of product. So starting from the beginning, we have a pin collection, then we have a tin, the ETB, and then we'll wrap it with the Ultra Ball collection. So that is 27 packs all together. Yeah, definitely our biggest opening, and uh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> We're going to go uh, start from the beginning. We're going to go with the pin collection and work our way to present. Um, obviously, the premium super duper collection hasn't come out yet, so that's the only one we're not opening. But uh, yeah, this is going to be tons of fun. Let's do it. All right, we're going to put Pikachu right over here and put him sideways so you can. And man, I feel like it was so long ago that this this is the thing that started it all. The pin collection. Only three packs, comes with OK pin, and actually not bad promos. A bench barrier, Mew. Uh, Mew. Shoutouts to Get Wrecked on uh, Get Wrecked on Twitch. Goes by a couple other names, Bazernius on PTCGO. He actually hooked us up with one of these Mews because I actually don't have one. Because, uh, well, give away all the codes. And I don't remember how to open this, so I'm just destroying the box. And, ah, yeah, this brings back memories. It always looks like, oh, there's only two packs in there, but one of them is just always has two. And uh, here is a code card for that Bench Barrier Mew. Now that I already have one, definitely don't need one. So basically a one of. We have some purple sleeves to, uh, yeah, I thought we'll switch it up. Different colors. Usually run, uh, get black and white ones. Purple, I feel like it's pretty cool. These pins aren't too bad, but after a while you have like a bunch of them. Ah, three packs. We have our tin over here on standby. 27 pack opening. Let's do it. We got a Mew, Mewtwo, and Charizard pack art. So we are hoping for like 14 hits. Man, that's crazy. All right, for our first pack. See what we can do. We have a darkness energy. Farfetched, Graveler, Chansey, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, a Paris, Erica's Hospitality, and then a Mew to go with our Mew. Yeah, so Hidden Fates is actually I'm I'm very curious to how things will play out once Cosmic Eclipse comes out. I'm super pumped. But I'm curious if this will, how this will, how it will compete against Hidden Fates. To be honest, I feel like nothing will surprise me. Where if it kind of like, Hidden Fates just takes over, you know, continues to just be the, what everyone's looking for, what no one can find in stores, uh, that would not shock me. It wouldn't, if the Hidden uh, Cosmic Eclipse hype, you know, initial come out and people just love it with the character rares and stuff like that. Maybe it'll take over Hidden Fate. Actually, I feel that one's the least likely. Um, if I had to guess, I would think that Hidden Cosmic Eclipse will have initial hype, and then Hidden Fates will kind of like kind of maintain its level of popularity as the initial, you know, wave of Cosmic Eclipse openings happen. That would be my guess. But again, nothing would surprise me. This set is just so cool, so much fun to open too. I think that's the biggest thing. So I could definitely see how. It's very appealing just to buy it in stores and stuff like that, just because you know you get so many hits. Although uh, it doesn't apply to this <laughs> this product, so we got a whole lot of nothing. Whew, off to a rough start. Let's go to this Raichu tin. So yeah, we are opening up one of everything, or not one of every single product, one of each kind of product, which is uh, already quite kind of a pricey thing endeavor. Let alone if you were to do every single product, although we definitely did that on the channel. So we got that Raichu tin, four packs here. And just a couple quick reminders that if you're kind of new to the channel, 
you know, welcome, glad you found us, and we do tons of Pokemon openings, we usually do like two, maybe three a week, and then throughout the rest of the week, we try to do a video every single day, mixing up different content for PTCGO, um, going through different market, trying to look at the Pokemon TCG market and stuff like that, sometimes we do things like Magic Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, so if uh, any of that sounds good, do me a favor, hit that uh, like and sub button, and alright, on to four more packs with the Raichu Tin, still haven't gotten anything yet, <laughs> so we have a long way to go to get that 50% hit rate of 13 to 14 hits. We are definitely off to a very poor start. Actually, since we hit that, the monster Charizard, I feel like things have been pretty rough. You know, not like curse rough where we couldn't pull a GX to save our lives. It took like, I don't know, 50 something packs to get our first one. But, you know, definitely not as good as we were doing before that. We got our first 3 8 hitter in a dark energy. It's nothing to write home about. And let's get onto this shiny Mewtwo pack. So if you guys haven't caught one of the streams yet, I definitely recommend stopping by and say hello. So working on a regular schedule of Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings around 7 p.m. EST we'll be streaming. Uh, primarily we're doing PTCGO right now, but definitely once Sword and Shield comes out, we're going to be playing that a lot. Arbuck, um, Xerneas, the one that hooked us up with one of those Mews, actually was showing us a Arbuck deck on there one night. It was actually really cool. Not a great deck, but it it has some potential just because that last pattern attack. Basically, it makes you your opponent discard two cards. So that's you know that's nothing to that's you have to respect that. But uh, to kind of go all out with that strategy, I'm not sure if it's super viable. But it was really interesting to see. Uh, you know, I always like, I feel like right now there's so many different things you can do right now. Um, I'm hoping Cosmic Eclipse kind of maintains that, that there's just so many different decks. And, like, I don't want one or two things just to come out clearly on top of, of everything else. So we got a Zapdos, and then a Chansey. Wow, this is, this is going terrible. I should have left these sealed. <laughs> Maybe I did a good job of, like, figuring out which, which uh, products to open earlier on. Is like, you know what, these guys... Let's, let's, uh, got this, uh, pin collection still hanging around, this tin. Let's just open all of them and we'll do a big opening. So far, it's not working out too well. But we got LT Surge, Misty's Determination, Jinx, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, a Weezing. There's some cool Weezing cards that have been out lately. And then, okay, our first shiny, and it is pickle rick all right so this is one thing that's interesting so take a look at how this shiny is particularly around these uh kind of like the white shiny marks and when we pull some from the ultra ball collection i think i feel like those the whiteness in them just really stands out a lot more than this it's almost as if there was a second print run or something and the print is actually a little bit different uh all right i'm gonna grab the etb beer back oh. <laughs> wrong way so it's been a little bit since we opened this and I actually think this, I still maintain this is the best product. When the super duper 15 pack super collection box comes out, I think that one will have, oh obviously how it's going to have tons of goodies in it, but I think at the end of the day this one will still be superior with 10 packs and by far the best promo. This card is just amazing. I feel like they're pretty generous, basically giving it as a promo. I believe in the Japanese, this was like a secret rare and pretty sought after in my opinion. These sleeves are pretty good and we don't care about the energies, but I do like these boxes. That's another thing, like those, these Pokeball things, eh, I don't think they're that good. They're kind of cool maybe like to have one, but then after that, it's not a very viable way to store things, but those ETBs is for sure. All right. Now, hopefully, hopefully we start getting some fire pulls because, oh my gosh, we've opened seven packs. We've only got one non-GX shiny and one reverse energy. 
So, all right, we need to turn it up to 11 right now. Let's do it. Again, hoping for 13 to 14, 13 to 14 hits. We're at one, one and three eighths. We got Magmar, Farfetch'd, Brock's Gym, Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, a Kangaskhan for our rare, ah, a Eevee. This is rough. This is curse rough, guys. Bringing back uh, <laughs> not so pleasant memories, to be honest. All right, we got a Grass Energy, Graveler, Far Fetched. These cards are almost like a little warped. Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, a Snorlax, and okay, this is a very good shiny to pick up, Malamar. I think this might be one of my favorite decks to play right now. Any kind of Malamar variation. This thing's pretty off-centered, but I don't think we're going to get wouldn't get a Malamar graded. Unless this is off-center enough to get a OC grade, which I kind of doubt, but I feel like it's significantly off-center. I doubt enough to get the OC, though. But very solid pickup right there. Even though it's not a shiny GX, I feel like that shiny is... You know, I'm content with that almost at the same level as most shiny GXs. Alright, Charmeleon, Metapod, Jinx, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke. I'm not sure you can see, actually, yeah, you can kind of see how it's... Eh, maybe not, but the cards are a little warped. Misty's Water Command, hopefully that just means there's a lot of uh, hollow stuff in here. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Sylveon GX. Oh, it would have been perfect if I had my Sylveon plush. We got the Screaming Pikachu. But this for sure deserves a double sleeve. And then a pink sleeve or purple sleeve on top of that. Yeah, Pikachu's a. That's a solid pull right there. We're catching up. All right, now, now we're rolling. Let's keep it going, guys. This We need a monster ETB to catch us up, put us in a good position for that Ultra Ball collection box. Can we keep it rolling? Fairy Energy, Misty, Scyther, Jinx, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Clefable, Ah, Sabrina's Suggestion. So, always in the description, there's always a link to the Discord. And uh, if you never swung by yet, just uh, click the link and, yes, say hello. See if you like it. And, um, yeah, it's a very fun community. Everyone's very friendly. We got that cool Pokecord thing, which is actually a lot of fun. All right, Scyther, Geodude, Eevee again, Jigglypuff. Coughing. I do like that art. Star you. Ho, oh, Charizard. I'm, I'm. This is just actually a just insanely good card. That Flare Blitz GX is so powerful. Like Mewtwo, Mew was good, and then when this card came out, it's like wow. It's insane. I feel like that card alone makes Mewtwo Mew have. A very good matchup against Reshizard. Actually, most likely any any tag team uh, matchup. All right, so that that's a very solid hit as far as GXs go, or non shiny GXs. That is the one to pull. So happy with that. All right, Charmander, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans. Mr. Mime, then Brock's Grit. I'm not sure it's because they're warped or what, but like the cards are, my piles keep falling over. All right, for this, whew, we only have four packs left. And uh, we still have a ways to go, guys. Let's see what we can do here. 
Grass Energy, Brock's Gym, LT Surge, Misty's Determination, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone. Ooh, wow! This is the only the second time of all the packs we've opened, the second time we pulled the Rainbow Birds. And we, oh wow, that is an amazing pack right there. Shiny Scyther, one of the better ones, although Shiny Scyther, the actual shiny part is kind of lackluster, but what an amazing pack. This guy's off center as well. I feel like a lot of these cards are kind of off center. This uh, Rainbow Birds is pretty good, although I feel like there's not a whole lot of shine on this guy. But very happy to have pulled this. So we got two rainbow bird, uh, two legendary birds. One of them being the stained glass, which is by far the best art. And then we have the rainbow variety, the secret rare of the hidden fate set versus the shiny vault. All right, that double, double loaded pack was exactly what we needed to basically catch up, and three packs still. Okay, I think we're. We're getting in a good state. So one thing I want to hear from you guys is what do you think you want to see come, let's say, mid-November? So obviously, start of November, Cosmic Eclipse, no doubt. There's a lot of cards I want to get there. Um, I'm going to start trying to place in some IRL tournaments and there's a lot of cards that I'll need from that set. Okay, Fire Energy, we'll take it. And we'll probably do, you know, our initial wave of stuff. And then from there, I want to hear from you guys what you want to see. So let's say starting in mid-November, you know, do you think, do you think you would like to see us go back to Hidden Fates or continue with Cosmic Eclipse? Let me know in a comment below. All right, two packs left for this ETB. Ooh. Kind of hit the cards on against each other. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Brock's Training. Ooh, <laughs> the wrong sight there that time. All right, last pack for the ETB. I think the ETB was very solid. First two products was, uh, ooh, that was rough. That time, in the beginning, Pikachu was screaming like, oh my gosh, this is painful. Now he's uh, getting a little more happy. Giovanni, LT Surge, Koga, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Weezing. Okay, alright. Three reverse energies will count that as one hit. Alright, for... Almost done with this opening. We have one more collection box to open. Let's see where we're at. A bunch of... It's a code card. So we do have three reverse energies. Handful of non-GX shinies. Actually, this is a pretty good uh, lineup for non-GX shiny. Love Scyther. Pickle Rick is hilarious. Malamar is insanely good. Rainbow Birds. Charizard. We are getting very solid hits. Just not a lot of them. And for this, all right, so we're at six. Ooh, that's going to be tough to be, yeah, I'm, to get to uh, get to 13. We're going to need like seven hits out of this Ultra Ball collection. The stakes are high. Uh, it'll take me like 10 minutes to get into this box, but I'll be right back. All right, we are in the home stretch. Here is a Metagross promo. Code card and our last 10 packs. We need seven hits. Ooh, a couple of double whammies will be real nice. A good way to start it. I guess a good way to start any opening. Here we go. Darkness Energy, Lieutenant Surge, Misty's Determination, 
Jinx, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, and Bill's Analysis. That did not do it. Nine to go. All right. Man, opening this many packs is so much fun. All right, Metapod, Nurse Joy, Scyther, Ekans, a Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Kangaskhan, and, ooh, Inkay. All right, another very solid shiny. So volume-wise, we're not getting a lot of hits, but they're very good. This guy also feels a little bit off-center. And, yeah, like, so compared to the... What would we get first? The uh, Pseudo Budo Pickle Rick. Yeah, that, that white just feels so much like it stands out a lot more. But another solid shiny right there. Eight packs to go. So I got a lot of work to do. Electric Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, LT Surge, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Blaine's Last Stand. When I first read this, it sounds kind of cool, but I feel like this card just not that good. Wow, that's a very solid full art support. These full art supporters are super... I feel like I have not been doing very well pulling them. Better almost... I wonder if I've gotten just as many gold cards as these full art supporters. This is the second one I want second most. First one being Cynthia. But uh, really happen, happy to have another of uh, your boy Guzma. Actually, I think I traded my Guzma. So, <laughs> all right, he's back in the collection. Amazing hit right there. Let's uh let's keep it rolling. So let's see stuff that's coming up um on Halloween we will be doing a opening as many cosmic eclipse boxes as we can on PTCGO and then and as soon as we can get some kind of cosmic eclipse stuff we're definitely going to be opening that. Uh, usually by the time, oh, Poipo, another solid one. By the time that we get our boxes, it's usually, more often than not, it's like the Monday after release. So we'll just go run out to our local game store, GameStop, Target, or whatever to pick up some stuff to open in the meantime to hold us over till then. Probably be like ETBs or something. But yeah, then we're going to begin our initial journey through cosmic eclipse I, wanna, I have to say like as far as names go <laughs> that one just sounds okay although even hidden fates it's just so yeah the uh english names they're not not the best start these cards are so off center Clefairy, fairy slow poke our buck is our rare ah brock's training all right feel like we're gonna come up a little bit short on that 50 percent pull rate but man, this was tons of fun. If you did enjoy it, I really would appreciate if you hit that like button. It does help the channel continue to grow. We have a Graveler, Farfetch'd, Jinx, Slowpoke, Flea Fairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Butterfree. This card is super boring. Ekans. Alright, two whiffs right there in a row. So let's see, for the ETB we did get the Rainbow Birds. And no, we didn't get the Sylveon from that. But this one we did get Guzma. So the... The second half. <laughs> 
was pretty successful. I think just that beginning uh, was a bit just a rough start. Lapras, and then a Mew. Three packs remaining in our 27 pack opening. Let's finish it off with some really good stuff. I think we got something on this one, guys. Ooh, look at that. Actually, another one of my cards had damage like that. Luckily, it is not the rare or the reverse, but never like to see that. Koga, LT Surge, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans. Ooh, Jesse and James. It's been a little bit since we pulled one of you guys. Good to see you guys again. Oh, yes. This kind of loaded pack is exactly what we need to wrap up this opening. Cartana, very cool. And then Jesse and James. Okay, let's grab a perfect fit for you two. Jesse and James does seem to be included in a good amount of very annoying control decks. So while I love to pull it, I love the art. Whenever I see it in PTCGO, I'm just like shaking my head <laughs> as I tried to muddle through a super long match only to be completely locked up and then I eventually concede. All right, amazing pack right there. Two packs left. Ooh, let's get these pack arts. Let's get both of them. Shiny Mewtwo, Shiny Charizard. That's how you should wrap up a big opening like this. Come on, Pikachu. We'll make him scream. Scyther, Jinx, Magmar, Clefairy, Magic Carp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Bill's Analysis, Chansey. All right, it's all come down to this. Uh, actually, this this uh, Ultra Ball box worked out pretty well, but. Overall, a pretty good opening. I was hoping for a little bit more, but let's see if we can't wrap things up in a nice fashion. Especially for anyone that watched this through this entire video, thank you so much. And thanks to everyone, all the subscribers, all the people that have been joining our live stream. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, every, shout out to everyone on the Discord, especially the mods that help keep things running. Um, appreciate all of you guys. We've been uh, kind of doing this for a better part of a year now and been having a blast. Looking forward to providing much more content for you guys in the future. And uh, here we go for our last pack. Boom! Got bite shiny. All right, at least we got it in the shiny. Oh, look at. So this I feel like really emphasizes how the. I'll just call them the sparkles, I guess. And here's our pseudo Wudo. Let's just see if we can notice. So this guy's in a sleeve, but. Oh, actually, that's. Yeah, this guy is in a sleeve, so there's a bit of glare action, but you can clearly see how the the white is just more. Maybe that's because it's bigger. I don't know. But there's something there, and it kind of seems like it happened when these Ultra Ball Great Ball collection boxes came out. So overall, uh, I feel like we came up a little bit short, but man, that was so much fun. Um, yeah, not much time left uh, for Cosmic Clips, but reminder. Comment down below what you think you would like to see come mid-November and I'll try to kind of like prepare accordingly. So let me know in a comment down below. But uh, that was tons of fun and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.